Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Before you click off, if you're first time, I'm not Jewish. I'm not religious. I'm not spiritual. But I do keep the commandments of the Most High of Heaven and Earth. And uh, today is the Shabbat. If you don't know what that is, it's the Sabbath. And it's just uh, how you say the Sabbath or Saturday on uh, in Hebrew. I do have a Hebraic lineage. And so anyway, I keep the commandments. If you do, you do. If you don't, you don't. But I do, and this is who I am. And uh, I just honor the most hot and uh, for my lineage. So anyway, I use all kinds of stuff on my channel. And I uh, could come across, like I said, religious or something like that, but I'm not. Uh, I let the Spirit speak expressively because you and I cannot put the Spirit in a box. And uh, the Spirit wants to speak to us in any way, shape, or form that it can uh, give us an answer that what we're looking for. You don't have to have anything. You can be out in the middle of the desert and the Divine can answer you there with His creation. And I love the Spirit. And anyway, so Jehovah gets to just do whatever He wants because He's the one that's uh, building this uh, tower. So... Kind of in a nutshell, that's who I am. That's kind of what I'm about, okay? And I got way too much evidence to show that Jehovah exists and he's beautiful. And uh, anyway, <laughs> again, that's who I am. If you stay, welcome. Those of you who are returning, welcome back. I appreciate you all so very much. I hope everyone's day is just fabulous and full of peace and uh, all that kind of stuff. Now, if you are brand new, my channel is Real Talk. Whatever Jehovah brings out, the good, the bad, the ugly, it's for us to fix and to bring up the vibration of the planet in, okay? So, uh, anyway, you've been warned. Sometimes some things can come up really, really strong here, but we live in the real world, and uh, like I said, we're cleaning it up by way of uh, love, and that is the highest vibration of them all. If it's your birthday, happy birthday, happy anniversary too. All right, Jehovah, I just appreciate you so much. I'm going to start out here with the Hebraic Dictionary deck that I have that I've been working on here. And uh, let Jehovah bring out um, what he wants to speak about. I thank you, Jehovah, that you bind, block, and rebuke all negative, dry, wicked forces. And you command them to be forced right down to the pit of hell where they belong. I thank you for truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I thank you for your Holy Spirit. I thank you that you go before us and you prepare the way. And uh, what do we need to know today? You know, every person is going to... Uh, uh, click up on this message. So what is the message? Okay, so we got two cards. I'm going to cut this and take the bottom of the deck. And I've got a homemade deck here before we get started with the tarot. And we'll build from that. Okay, so we have the Aleph here. Uh, that will be at the bottom of the deck. So the overall energy is laying down new foundation. This is a strong, powerful leader, a family, uh, somebody who leads a clan or gets up in front of people. It's the Aleph head, which would be the A in the... Um, uh, Hebraic language. It's the pictograph of the ox head, which would be Taurus in the zodiac, but it is the first letter here. And so the first house would be um, Aries. So we got kind of both energies here connected here within, if I want to take the will and connect it. So Aries and Taurus energy connection there, but it's a strong, it could be anybody, but I just bring out anything that the Spirit wants me to bring out. This is a strong power, a leader, a family, something going on with family foundations being laid uh one who leads the clan is what that means so we had two cards that jumped out while i asked the divine what he wants to speak about and uh we have alex uh, excuse me the aleph head here as well being shown in the pictograph with the snake in the basket and the noon which take you back to family this is the tap this is the word for tapestry it goes back to uh, a covering or woven cloth now it literally keeps coming out they found some, somebody found some type of evidence today within something that was, or, or you're going to find something here that has been uh, covered up or something. The tapestry is both sides of it has, it looks different, but it's, it's all one piece, right? On one side of it, it's the guts and nasty. You turn it around, it's a beautiful picture or something or something that has been woven together. So we get a tapestry out here. Um, the other card that came out was the word for stone, ragam. Uh, however you say that in Hebrew, I don't really know. Uh, everybody teach me, so I just uh, teach myself. Uh, anyway, it's, it means stone. So, the stone is used in a sling or to throw or to kill. This goes back to stoning. Um, to, the, the thrown stone for an execution. If somebody 
uh, was some type of a clan or a gang leader did something here with some type of a stone or executed something. Now, this could be physically, emotionally, spiritually, however you need to perceive the energy that's coming out here to be true for any given person. But there's something that's been in a cloth of some type of... Uh, Maybe it was in a, where, I don't know, the sling is here as well. Okay, I don't, I'm not really sure what's going on, but something has been found. The Jehovah stated that something was found last night. He actually said it when I was doing some readings. And it is connected to a powerful leader or a leader of a family of some kind or uh, somebody who lead, gets up and they're known. They lead a clan of some type. Uh, if the, we're looking at the tapestry. Some people just want to show you one side of something. Uh, some people show you just a beautiful side of it and try to hide the guts and other people just show you the guts and make you think that no, everything's just really bad, but really on the other side they have all kinds of stuff. So it can really go both ways. And then you got people who will show you both sides and, and you know, to be true with something. Something has been executed here either with the stone or maybe... Maybe you have a sling, a, a slingshot, I don't know, or maybe something uh, is wrapped up in this cloth, if it's a literal cloth, or however you need to interpret this, but it's connected to this Aleph head energy here. Jehovah, give me some more words, please. You know all things and nothing is too difficult for, for you to bring something out. So we have the letters A um, twice. There's two A connection here. We also have uh, a T, an H, an N and an M, and a G, and an R, person, place, or a thing, first, middle, or last name. Okay, so what else do you want to bring out here, Jehovah? You know all things. What is this about? Thank you. Oh, we got all kinds of stuff. Okay, I'm going to take this whole thing, and we're going to do a spread with it. So... Give me just a second, please. So it looks like in the past, somebody in the deep past, somebody was happy. Something took place and somebody was being missed. It states here that when it's sunny and you're not here, it's raining in my heart and somebody was missing somebody. They were either lonely or something like that. In the in the recent past, we had something to do with drugs. All right, and uh, in the now position, we have a work family involved in something. Well, we have a family up here, but there's some type of stoning or killing situation. Somebody died. Uh, somebody either showed one side, or there's some type of. Um, a cover involved in something that it was something was kept within the situation. Somebody found the evidence is what Jehovah had told me today. Um, so at the at the top of the mind, somebody knows that the case is closed. Something is over. It really is over, people. It is known at the top of the mind. Um, so in the very near future, uh, so we have a work family here. If this is your work family, your co-workers connected to this, or you, or you work with your family, your family worked on something, but it's known to tell the mind the case is closed. In the near future, it says, you're, you're on my mind all the time. And so somebody's going to come and speak about something, uh, and then somebody's going to say, look, you've been on my mind all the time. Because back here at the base of what we're looking at is when it's sunny and you're just not here, man. I'm just missing you. So somebody has been on somebody's mind. And if they went on drugs because of that, if something's taking place of this drug, it was the influence of some type of stoning or execution type of a situation, then that's what's showing itself here. All right. So if somebody is um, concerned about somebody who is, I guess, good looking, uh, This the, in the position of... What the concern is is somebody who's who's going to say you're so gorgeously mine. So if somebody got into some fight and there was jealousy situations here, then that's what's going on. Uh, people will see whatever we're fixing to bring out here because I'm going to take some tarot on this. People are going to see that the how people are going to look at this is walking in peace. If I guess if you're going to forgive something or there's going to be an execution to be able to bring peace. Or to end something, stop the stoning, stop the killing, stop the throwing something here with the work family, with, with the strong leader, with whatever this was or is. In the heart space, we have teaching and learning. 
Okay, well, it's in the heart. It's if somebody's wanting to teach somebody something, or in the heart, somebody's learning something, uh, loving what they're learning, uh, or not. I guess if somebody was executed and stoned. Uh, the outcome shows a defeat here with someone who flatters, and that somebody needed to be beware of somebody who flattered within a situation. Okay, at the bottom of this deck, it says that Jehovah's doing a new thing today. For the upright. And so it's positive, it says. All right, so let's go around with the tarot. I love you, Jehovah. I thank you for these messages. Pretty good person that needs to hear this. Whatever's going on with this work family, this person who leads a clan with the foundation that's being laid down, the person who's been missing somebody so much. So we have the fool, okay? And so apparently and somebody walked away or did something or had a restart and somebody was just really... Uh, down and out because of um, they were missing somebody. Was some, obviously, somebody was foolish somewhere. This is wiping a slate clean uh, again. And somebody jumped off the cliff and did something, but there's drugs here. Show me the drugs. You hope they show me the drugs. Show me the energy of this card that says drugs on it. the world card well traveling there's money here okay and drugs and good money as well the integrity of something somebody was integ had integrity somebody didn't if this drugs goes back to a uh, hospital and you just had surgery and you were on drugs then then you you know having some type of uh, a pharmacy drug attached to that then fine but the, but we do have somebody's killing someone ended some so if somebody was on drugs and uh closed out something with somebody who was integrity then that's what it's showing here show me the work family show me the work family hold up i inquire your hand in your hand alone show me the work family show me the work family so we have the hermit and the judgment. And they just jumped out, man. Um, the hermit in this deck has a snake around the staff. Okay, this could be somebody in disguise. Obviously, if the work family is involved, if somebody who's got high volume wisdom, is an older person, somebody who um, is a calculator, they analyze things, they really go within, they have high volume knowledge, they know that it's time for some type of communication to bring something to the surface. There's death here. All right, there's death here. And so if this is just something that you do, if you are in the FBI or the legal, you know, um, side on the legal side of things, uh, and, and your work family here is involved in something where you were just investigating something, somebody knows that there's a case closed. The case is closed, whatever that means. There's a judgment here. We have Scorpio energy, things that have been hidden coming to the light. This is somebody that's coming back around for forgiveness. And somebody's been uh, thinking, thinking, thinking day and night about something, about this work family or the situation that has taken off or this execution had taken place. Show me the uh, top of the mind here. The, the hermit is also a counselor. Show me the case closed, Jehovah. I'm seeing horns here that the horns are being blown um, the lovers the decision it's at the top of the mind is the decision about the case being closed the polaric balance okay the knowledge of something show me you're on my mind all the time well, obviously, somebody's in love with somebody. So we've got the temperance here. And this two cups right out of heaven as well. This is also, would go back to death if I wanted to, and I do. If you are new, I take the Hebraic language and I correspond it with the tarot because it is a part of the tarot. And this is the noon. This will go back to children. This will go back to um, a river. It goes back to eternity, death energies. we got somebody blowing the trumpet on something that had died and bringing it to the surface, Okay. Uh, if it involved a work family that led a clan, then it did, okay? Uh, again, or you're the part that has been investigating something about this work family, and there's a case closed, known at the top of the mind about the decision that it is closed. Uh, so we've got the whole stick here, Gemini and Sagittarius is here, we've got Virgo, something's changing because we've got 
we've got a uh, fixed energy here three fixed energies here and then we've got the changeable energy something's something's changing here so it's, something's literally just being blown up here um this reconciliation as well we got it in the now and it's being thought about in the mind to speak this is communicating stuff this is the lower mind this is the higher mind and somebody has really been analyzing about something that had been created a work family somebody created something laid a foundation down and then led from that space but there's some type of um new thing that is positive taking off from this tapestry energy that has been woven um, that has either been shown one side or the other or both sides for some people have been shown um, or something's wrapped up in it or there's a sling involved in a stone <laughs> okay we, we've got somebody down here is is uh, concerned about this so gorgeously mine energy so show me this concern because obviously if there's a, if, if, if this energy is just showing that this person here who leads a clan is involved and would get up and be a person who would throw a stone or kill or execute something, then somebody is um, concerned about this connection with this person or group. I, I did a reading yesterday and this Aleph actually came out in the position of what was the concern and now it's here at the bottom of the deck is somebody I apparently don't care uh, about a stoning or a killing energy here uh, show me so gorgeously mine Jehovah show me so gorgeously mine thank you the moon, the deception, the mother. So if it's baby mama wars or something like that, or you share a child with somebody, then that's what it's showing. Because this is foolishness down here in the negative, okay, of this fool. This somebody obviously was on drugs and did something and uh, towards a person who did have integrity or not, I mean, I'm going to show them both ways here. This travel, this is somebody did something with, um, with uh, money. Let's go back to the boss energy as well. An older person who would have integrity if they are in the upright show in the world card. And that card can go to that. We do have somebody who is older here. Okay, and the judgment card in the Hebrew is the resh, the head, the man, the boss, the chief of something. We have a strong, powerful leader here uh, who leads something and leads a clan. So it's called both ways. And so somebody is upright and has a clan or works in a, a legal department of some kind or not, or just they're just got the law within themselves. And then we also got the other side of clannish type foolish behavior as well. Uh, show me walk in peace, Yohobo. Show me walk in peace, please. Show me walk in peace, Yohobo, with this uh, situation. Thank you. Uh, the strength card. The, the having to have compassion. Uh, Apparently, you know, because the strength card is normally the um, the angel that's holding the lion's mouth. I'm really having a hard time speaking to y'all because there hasn't been any peace. Obviously, if, if Jehovah's saying that the people are going to have to see it as walking in peace, or they will see it as walking in peace once this decision's made uh, to to reconcile and to tell the truth. This about truth. To blow something that's been up in the grave up so that somebody has knowledge of it. It's known that there's a case closed here. Jehovah made the thing known. And Yeshua, or salvation, is here today and it's known in the top of the mind. Uh, we have hope against hope. And the, the people are going to see it. That you have to hope against hope. And to have strength and compassion in it then. The teaching and learning, Jehovah says that you shall live and not die. Well, obviously we got execution here and somebody feels that there, there, there is some type of death energy here with this work family. Let's go slow. I know that you've been hurt and it's truthful, it says. Okay, well, it's positive then. Let's come out here. Show me the teaching and learning. Okay, and somebody is learning about living and not dying. So the emperor really wants to come out here. Really wants to come out here today. 
And last night he was coming out as well. So this is a headship. This is a boss figure. Then. And we got to hear the head, the man, the boss, the chief, blowing something up here. Knowing that in the heart, the, the teaching and learning is, is bringing something up that has just been like death. Okay, if I'm just going to be real general. And so the outcome is a defeat on this flattering behavior that has um, that has literally been involved in some type of druggish, foolish situation. Show me the outcome, Jehovah. Show me the outcome. So we have a father that's in the heart. We have a boss that's in the heart. Just somebody in leadership, somebody who would be older again, would be somebody of integrity in the upright, the, the emperor's heart's being changed and he's, he's learning something here and he's saying, no, you're going to live and not die. And he's speaking from his heart the truth and that's positive and there's a defeat here on something that was not very nice because there's been drugs involved. I want to hold you so bad in a good way and the, we do have integrity here, but somebody somebody obviously for some people I mean if the bias say walk in peace something happened this is warring energy with the emperor we've got you know somebody who had flattered somebody okay so the truth is here and this is also the husband and protection as well and it's in the heart it really is in the heart here um, so we definitely got powerful strong leaders and things like that the chariot is here and so that's balancing things out and it's also a victory. That's positive, actually, what's coming out, guys, in this reading. So in the very near future, um, somebody's going to come and speak the truth about whatever took place by um, uh, the river or whatever was so stretched out or exaggerated or the fortune that was involved in something. Somebody says, I won't hide anymore. And they're going to speak and say, look, you're on my mind all the time. It, it's here. You're on my mind. You are the you are the person that belongs to me. This is an open shut case decision here for me. Okay, Jehovah made the thing known of whatever's taking place up here with this execution, or what? Or I just executed the thing energetically and just freaking laid a foundation that wasn't right. I was foolish. I just got you know maybe you were on drugs in the, in the past, but something ended with that, showing that that as well. And um, so somebody is. Um, saying let's go slow in the right in the right now mo moment bringing something up to the surface that's positive then people it is uh, somebody played both sides well if you're in FBI and, and you that's just your job and you had to go in somewhere and do something we got the law here the law here the emperor would also be the law there's been deception we got the law here okay we got the law that could be found here and within the world card it's here and somebody has had to be really had to have a genius mind to do something uh, to play both sides, uh, or they just hid it, or they, like I said, they just showed one side, acted like they were one way, really on the inside, they had something else going on in there, okay, as someone you went from high school or college was involved in, in this stuff, and there's a sparkle here, nets, a quarrel, yes, well, we already know that, we already know something took place, we had an execution or a killing or something that's taking place around the situation, Okay, this goes back to sparkling colors coming off from a metal when struck. There's petals and flowers and like uh, sparks off metal and blossoming stuff. Uh, what that means, it's just coming out. It's just one of the words in the Hebrew dictionary that's coming out for us to take a look at in the living language. So my family now sees the truth. And so somebody obviously lied about something that was foolish. Either it was somebody you went to school with or high school with or this work family, but there's somebody's family knows the truth now it is it, it's known because the divine says I, I made it known and there's salvation here today and today is a day of salvation it says you make everything so bright even when it's dark thank you well somebody and says we are the same and we are those two people that are the same it's known at the top of the mind that they are and uh, it's, it's the whole stick here that, that often comes out on my uh reading this is positive energy because there's a victory within something that's really taken place um, they found the evidence. Okay, like I said, you know, they, they found the evidence. And there's going to be jail in prison here for somebody. Okay, well, it's definitely all over the freaking place. This positive, people, this really positive. Somebody's finally found some type of evidence uh, for some of your cases um, that has been attached to a tapestry or a cloth or a slingshot uh, or there's connection to a stone. Um, 
give me just a second. Something run through my spirit. It's as if there's, I've seen just a glimpse of my spirit. Somebody has a literal, those of you are dealing with murder cases. That literal murder cases. And somebody kept a stone that had somebody's blood on it. They kept it. I don't know why that's run through my spirit, but there was there's a stone that had a that had blood on it, and they kept it. That's gross, but anyway, I guess they did. Um, the doorway, an opening. This is death energy here showing itself. The resurrections here twice. This is new births, new um, beginnings. This is help from outside things. This is a transformation. That's interesting what's coming out here, guys. But this is positive because there's a victory here. All right, until next time, Shalom.